customers first, incredible quality, and affordable to all. At CVF Racing, we've been guided by those three principles since we first started doing business in 2009. And they've enabled us to become what is today the fastest growing provider of premium brackets, pulleys, and engine accessories, and one of the world's most complete selections of serpentine and V-belt kits. All of which are backed by an industry-leading lifetime warranty and the best-in-class customer service. The small block Ford engine is one of the most difficult engines for customers to understand when it comes to accessory drives. It's first important to identify what you have, beginning with the water pump. Water pumps can be either standard or reverse rotation. Here's how to identify which one you have. The bolt circle should be at 1.75 inch on the standard rotation pumps and at 2.06 inch on reverse rotation pumps. However, some aftermarket manufacturers didn't adhere to that rule, so there are a couple other ways to help identify what you have. You can also look at the belt or belts. A V-belt water pump pulley or serpentine belt pulley with ribs should indicate a standard rotation pump. While a serpentine belt water pump pulley that's smooth or without grooves should be a reverse rotation pump. If you're still unsure, remove the pump and examine the impeller and timing cover. With the lower hose pointed down, look at the back of the pump and position one of the blades at 12 o'clock. The flat part of the impeller blade will be facing left on a standard rotation pump and right on a reverse rotation pump. Another confusing part is on timing covers. There are essentially three timing covers standard rotation, early reverse rotation, and late reverse rotation. All variations of the standard rotation cover have the same dimension, bolt pattern, and cooling passages. The early reverse rotation timing cover is almost the same, but the angle of the cooling passages are different, and the late or 94 reverse rotation cover is different from the others in every way. Within the standard rotation water pumps, there are some differences, and they mostly revolve around hub height. A passenger side lower hose pump has a hub height of 5.4 inches and a driver side has a height of 5.7 inches. There's also a shorty pump, which has a driver side lower hose but is 4.3 inches tall. Since this all affects pulley alignment, it's important to know which one you have. Just like there were different water pumps, there are different balancers as well. When the balancers change from a three bolt to a four bolt, they also change the offset in addition to the bolt pattern, which is almost an inch. Most aftermarket three bolt only balancers are OEM replacement. Balancers with three and four bolt patterns usually have the same dimensional measurement as the original factory three bolts, but allow for a crank spacer to aid in pulley alignment. The last piece in understanding small block Ford is on the power steering pumps. We do kits for both the original Ford pump with the metal reservoirs and for Saginaw or GM style pumps. Ford also did a plastic reservoir pump. But since there isn't a good way to attach a rear support bracket to keep the bracket from flexing, we don't offer a kit for it. The GM pump came with either the 5 8 inch keyway style shaft or a 3 quarter press fit shaft, but the bodies themselves were the same. We try to simplify this as much as possible in our catalog and online. By identifying these few things, we can help you get the right parts the first time. At CVF Racing, we pride ourselves on delivering customer service that is nothing short of legendary. If you ever have an issue with one of our products, we'll bend over backwards to make sure that you're satisfied.